Welcome back to Final Fantasy 3! Um, I made the dumb choice since last time I played to, uh, take a break. So, now we have to deal with that. Rumor has it that there's a gnome village hidden somewhere in the woods south of here. Oh yeah! I heard that a traveling mage had a magical healing solution somewhere in this town long ago. Traveling mage hid something in the town. You might see LB and RB on the bottom of the menu screen. Use LB or RB to switch between screens. Oh yeah, I forgot once again that hidden items don't give exclamation points like I want them to. Which means, unfortunately, we have to use my memory for things, and my memory is not very good. But it is what it is. Um, I really thought I could go down there. Turns out, no. Or at least, I really wanted to go down there. Turns out, no. Yeah, but here's how I get in the water. If I want to go for a splish splash, which I do not yet. I remember... A decent amount of this game, but there's definitely chunks I don't remember, like the individual layouts of each town. Arrow is a white magic spell that harnesses the power of wind to damage the enemy. Flying monsters are especially vulnerable to it. Yeah, like they're especially vulnerable to arrows, too. Um. Why, hello there. I'm a dancer. Watch me prance. <laughs> That was fun. I guess. <laughs> All right, I think this is Sid's house, but I'm not going in any buildings yet. Why, hello there. We don't usually get this many visitors around here. The last one we had was a young man named Dash. If you want to rearrange your inventory in the menu screen, after selecting your item, select the item you want to replace it with. Huh. That's convenient. That young lad Dash bought the last mini scroll off me. What does that spell do? It shrinks you to gnomer size, that's what it does. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I'm going to go in the water now, uh, before I go in any buildings. Not because I need to, but because I want to. Also because I th think that's how I get to that hidden box. But we'll find out. Sploosh. Yeah. An elixir! Oh, that's even better than I was expecting. I was half expecting like a high potion or something. Elixirs are like the best healing item. I will never ever use them, except in an absolute emergency, because of how they work. Um, elixirs fully restore HP and MP. I am running out of item storage, I think. Wait, I have a key at- oh, my canoe! It's used to cross shallow waters. Alright. What spells are you teaching here? Cure. I already have two people who know Cure. Thunder. Oh, it's expensive to learn these. It's expensive to learn these. Ugh. I guess one of each of them for now, and we'll spread them out somewhat. You can have... Poison. And you'll take Thunder for now. I'm hoping to get... Uh, poison on... or Thunder on... Onyx also, but I can't afford such things yet. 
Oh wait, that means I probably can't afford... Oh. I can't even almost afford a great bow, but it would be an improvement over... It's fine. Also, I just remembered I can switch to dual mithril swords now and have slightly increased damage. Um, let's see. What armor can I be? Go be sad that I can't afford yet. Uh, never mind. We're going in the inn. It'll be 40 gil a night to rest here. I'm not resting yet. I don't like that you have golden needles because that means I might start needing golden needles. Oh, Dash, my beloved Dash, when will you be back? Why would you go to the mountains of the east where a dragon is said to dwell? And what would drive you to go to such a place alone? Hey, do you think we should check out this dragon mountain? Definitely. Let's go look for this Dash guy and bring him back here. My daughter, Selina, has fallen in love with that vagrant Dash. But he didn't stay a fortnight before he left, mumbling about some task he'd promised himself to do. And Selina's been angsty and crying ever since. I... There it is. I found a gold needle. Now I can be slightly less worried about... Uh... Things. Petrification. Alright, what armors... This is not armors. Oh, this water isn't special water. I can't heal here. That's great. So I have to nap if I want to heal. Luckily... They don't have any stuff where I'm like, ah, dang, too bad I can't afford that, like I could, like I was with the weapons and spells. <sighs> Miss Seed's gotten sick while I was away. Don't worry, she'll be fine. If only I could get my hands on a bottle of elixir. Uh, <gasps> ah! Alright. Fine, uh, my one elixir... My cough. It's gone. I... I feel better. Thank you all for helping me and Sid. Thank you again. That'll be two I owe y'all. You've all grown so much. <laughs> what? You've only been with us for a couple days. We couldn't have grown that much. <laughs> oh, um... I just remembered. See that lamp on the wall? Push it. It'll open the way to the hangar where I used to park the old airship. There might be something in there you can use. Okay. It's not Legend of Zelda, but I sing the Legend of Zelda song anyway. It's a good song. Blind. Nice, nice. Phoenix down. Can't go wrong with that. Iron arrows. A gold needle again. Nice. A great bow. Gnomish bread. Potion. Gnomish bread. Gnomish bread is good. Oh ho ho, I accidentally walked over here. 2,000 gil. 2,000 gil. Phoenix down. Phoenix down. Nice, 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 nice. But anyway, I interrupted myself like almost 10 minutes ago now. Um, I was very falling asleep last night, so that's why I took a break. Uh, and unfortunately now that means that I am ever so slightly out of practice. Did I get a second spell? No, okay. Oh, it was equipment. Onyx moved back to the back row. And... 
get your get you a great bow with wooden arrows yeah for now we'll stay on wooden arrows for now we'll switch to holier iron when I start having more of them um I still wish I had like a rod or something for to get uh, Lucas an actual item. Actually, wait, did the weapon shop sell? Wait, I can get a second thunder now. Nice. Did they sell iron arrows, or just wooden arrows? Oh, they do sell iron arrows. How expensive are iron arrows? Not too bad. I mean, like, expensive, but not as awful as I was half expecting. It's by... I think I had 20, so 78. Puts me at almost cap in case I find more, but not quite cap. Wait, does that now make you... Oh no, okay. Not quite our highest damager, but... Higher even than the monk, which is impressive. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna remember... To do a better job at saving... Every chance I get, now that I had the one... The one time I forgot and then died. Dragon's Peak, let's go! Ah... Rocks. I mean, Rooks. Oh, jeez. Maybe I should get more potions. I mean, I do have a decent amount of cure. Oh good. I mean, I guess we're technically fine. Like, none of them did more than half health. It just felt like a lot because we dropped from above 100 to below. This time I'm gonna focus on one instead of damaging them both to minimize the damage we take. Shoot. Where are my phoenix down? Ah, oh, I have way less phoenix down than I thought, but it's fine. Shoot, now Dustin doesn't get the EXP. Phoenix down! Potions up. And then I think I'm going to end this episode off here. In the next one, we will investigate Dragon's Peak further.
Maybe find Desh who wandered out here? I don't know, maybe he'll be dead already. Hard to say. Anyway, bye bye! Dragon's Peak is a very intimidating name to come here alone. Anyway, yeah, bye.